The Mongol Empire was once a huge expanse governed by a dynasty of powerful conquerors that spanned from the Pacific coast to the center of Europe. Kublai Khan, the fifth great Khan, and the first Mongol monarch to form a dynasty in China, ruled this vast empire at its height. In addition to being a military prodigy and astute politician, Kublai Khan was a legendary person in history and a lover of the arts. During his rule, the Mongol Empire reached its pinnacle, experiencing unmatched growth, cultural affluence and scientific advancement. However, Kublai Khan marked the end of an era that had fundamentally changed the course of history as the final great Mongol Khan, from his early military operations to his grandiose efforts to conquer the world. Kublai Khan's narrative is one of incredible ambition, strategic skill, and a never-ending desire for power. The legend of Kublai Khan starts with his birth in 1215. He was Tolui's fourth son, the fabled Genghis Khan's fourth son. Kublai was raised in the leadership and conquest traditions that had made the Mongols the world's biggest continuous land empire. He was born into the center of the Mongol governing dynasty. Kublai was trained from an early age for the demanding military life of the Mongols, perfecting his riding, archery, and military tactics that had made the Mongol forces so strong. As he grew older, Kublai distinguished himself in several battles, demonstrating his strength as a strategist and leader. Kublai's grandfather, Ogadai Khan, the third great Khan of the Mongol Empire, was impressed with his early military prowess. Ogadai, seeing Kublai's promise, named him governor of the northern Chinese lands he had conquered. This was a pivotal role in Kublai's future ascent to power. During this period, Kublai started formulating his plans for the Mongol Empire, which included him challenging his brother Arik Boka to become the Great Khan. In order to emerge triumphant and solidify his position as the fifth Great Khan, Kublai would have to negotiate the perilous waters of Mongol succession politics. This power battle would put his political savvy and military strength to the test. The road that Kublai Khan took to become the Great Khan was not without difficulties. Following the demise of his grandfather, Ogadai Khan, Kublai's brother Arik Boke emerged as a strong contender for the coveted title in the ensuing power struggle within the Mongol royal dynasty. The battle that followed, Dubed the Toluid Civil War, saw Kublai's army take on Arik Boke's as the two brothers fought for supremacy over the Mongol Empire. By using his military prowess and political savvy, Kublai outwitted his brother, won the backing of important Mongol nobles, and ultimately routed Arik Boke's forces in a string of close engagements. With his victory, Kublai Khan emerged as the undisputed ruler of the Mongol Empire, consolidating his power and ushering in a new era of Mongol dominance. However, Kublai's ambitions extended beyond the traditional Mongol homeland, and he set his sights on the conquest of China, the last major power center that had eluded Mongol control. In 1271, Kublai Khan formally established the Yuan dynasty, becoming the first Mongol emperor to rule over the vast territories of China. This bold move not only solidified Kublai's position as the supreme ruler of the Mongol Empire, but also marked a significant shift in the balance of power in East Asia, as the Mongols now controlled both the steppe and the heartland of Chinese civilization. Kublai attempted to combine the Mongol and Chinese political and cultural systems throughout his tenure as the Yuan Emperor, and this was demonstrated by a number of broad reforms and large-scale initiatives. Kublai's reign profoundly impacted the history of China and the Mongol Empire, from building the fabled city of Khan Balik, present-day Beijing, to supporting the arts and sciences. As the great Khan and the first Mongol ruler of the Yuan dynasty, Kublai Khan began a revolutionary reign that had a lasting impact on China's history as well as the Mongol Empire, implementing comprehensive administrative and political reforms that would aid in the consolidation of Kublai's authority was one of his top concerns. Using the experience of Chinese and Mongol officials, he constructed a centralized bureaucracy and instituted a meritocratic civil service system that would come to define the Yuan dynasty. In an effort to increase the Mongol Empire's dominance, Kublai led his army in a number of audacious military expeditions that resulted in the defeat of the Song dynasty, the final autonomous Chinese state. With this triumph, 
the Mongols were able to establish their dominance over the Chinese interior, and Kublai was able to incorporate the most sophisticated Chinese technical systems into the Mongol Empire. Kublai Khan was a supporter of the arts, architecture, and cultural advancement in addition to his military and political accomplishments. In addition, Kublai promoted the rise of Tibetan Buddhism, the translation and preservation of Chinese classics, and the advancement of new technologies like the printing press and the compass. The Mongol Empire saw unmatched wealth and culture blossoming under Kublai's great khanship. The Mongols became a powerful force in East Asia and beyond because of his ability to combine Mongol and Chinese traditions, his strategic vision, and his dedication to invention and advancement. Even with all of Kublai Khan's triumphs and the Mongol Empire's seeming might during his rule, the Great Khan faced numerous difficulties that eventually led to the Mongols' slow collapse from power. One of Kublai's most ambitious, though ultimately fruitless, military attempts was the attempted invasion of Japan. Kublai made two attempts in 1274 and 1281 to take the Japanese archipelago by deploying massive Mongol-Chinese armadas. But on both occasions, powerful typhoons, which came to be known as the Divine Winds or Kamikaze, combined with fierce Japanese opposition to thwart his intentions. The Mongol Empire suffered a great deal as a result of Kublai's abortive attempts to conquer Japan, which also exposed the limits of the Mongols' naval might. The resources of the empire were further taxed by Kublai's unsuccessful attempts to extend Mongol authority into Southeast Asia, notably as his invasion of the Champa Kingdom in present-day Vietnam. In addition to these military issues, Kublai Khan had to contend with significant social and economic challenges during his reign. The massive Mongol Empire's riches decreased due to the costs of maintaining it, the consequences of natural disasters, and interruptions in commerce. Chinese anger under Mongol authority led to a rise in social instability and dissatisfaction among the populace. Under the rule of his successors, the Mongol Empire continued to deteriorate after Kublai's death in 1294. There are several reasons for the gradual decline of Mongol dominance in East Asia, such as the collapse of the Mongol Empire, the emergence of regional powers, and the expanding impact of Chinese establishments and customs. By the end of the 14th century, the Mongol Empire had shrunk to a shadow of its former grandeur due to the fall of the Yuan Dynasty. Even with the Mongol Empire's eventual collapse, Kublai Khan's influence endures across time. In an attempt to combine the customs and structures of the two cultures, his rule had a lasting impact on both Chinese and Mongol culture. The renowned city of Kanbalik is one of the architectural wonders he commissioned that has enthralled and inspired people all over the world. Moreover, Kublai Khan made enormous contributions to the advancement of trade, technology and diplomacy. He managed the Mongol Empire's development as a hub of trade and culture, facilitating the transmission of ideas, goods and technology over long distances. Kublai's encouragement of the humanities and sciences led to significant advancements in fields like printing, astronomy and mapping. In the end, Kublai Khan's legacy as the last great Mongol Khan is one of unmatched ambition, genius in strategy, and a significant influence on the development of global history. During his rule, the Mongol Empire reached its pinnacle, experiencing unparalleled growth and artistic blossoming that would profoundly impact the communities and cultures it encountered. Few people in history are as monumental as Kublai Khan. Kublai rose from modest beginnings as the fourth son of a Mongol ruler to become one of history's most significant and potent leaders. Kublai Khan gave the Mongol Empire a golden period with his military victories, political changes, and cultural support. But even at the height of his authority, Kublai had to overcome enormous challenges that would ultimately hasten the fall of Mongol supremacy. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.